Hey, Caleb with Rule Marketing Group here, back with yet another episode of our Unsolicited Customer Feedback Experience series. Uh, Hopefully you've enjoyed some of the previous videos so far. If you haven't checked them out on YouTube, there is a playlist. We also have a shorts playlist where I just kind of pull out some highlights, uh, and that's its own standalone. So hope you'll take a look at that. Uh, and ruleyourcompetition.com for more information on Rule Marketing Group and how I uh, might be able to help you. But today we're going to look at a a smaller business, and I am a fan uh, of this business. I used to actually live about five minutes from um, this. It's called Pi Bar. They serve pie. So this is going to be a very happy video because we're talking about pie. Uh, And and honestly, they do a great job with their marketing. Um, I, I truly believe that. I'll show you a couple um, of examples of that uh, in, a co- in, in in these tabs. You actually may, may see at the top, there is a Gmail tab open because I think they do a strong uh, job with their newsletter of engaging their customers. Uh, so you, hopefully that'll be a good experience. I've actually pu- published uh, on LinkedIn a couple of times about their newsletters. Uh, and I think uh, one or two of the owners uh, are actually uh, alumni of my college as well, Georgia College and State University. So go Bobcats for those who are in the know. But without further ado, Let's dig in, shall we? Um, sadly, not to actual pie, uh, but um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm probably going to go find a slice somewhere uh, after this. Uh, but let's just look at them on Google first, right? You look at Pie Bar. Um, I had to look up Woodstock because I'm not actually in Woodstock. They have a, a second location in Marietta, Georgia as well. Um, but if I look here, the information is great, right? The photo is of the inside. You know, I would I would wonder if maybe it needs to be a pie, but, it, but this is a physical location that you're visiting. So... For a smaller business, uh, that that tends to be uh, the right thing to do. You've got your logo in the right place. The name is correct. In this case, the Woodstock location is showing up. So clearly they have their Google My Business um, hierarchies in order where the Marietta location is designated Marietta. And uh, I'm I'm quite confident that from a a customer experience perspective, that is helpful because you don't want to accidentally order from one and then have to drive an extra 30 minutes to get to uh, the other place, right? Um, So Pi Bar, blah, 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 blah. Uh, love the fact that we have all products sweet Thanksgiving Christmas. Interesting that that's what Google's picking up. I would think sweet and savory pies would be what you want to pick up instead of uh, specific uh, specialties. So I don't know if those pages may need to be no indexed um, for maybe six or seven months out of the year and then and then kind of resubmit it to the Google index um, at, you know in like July. So that has plenty of time to kind of work it back in for the seasonality. But that's just me. You've got the sponsor order online. Strong reviews as well, right? For 400, you know, 433 and 4.7 stars. Um, also, yes, I have left a review. Apparently, uh, that was three years ago. I left a review, so I'm a fan, <laughs> as you could tell. Um, let me pick newest. Um, and yeah, we have some responses. Obviously, with that many, uh, you know, they're doing a good job of responding. There's just one that that has not been responded to. Um, don't count mine; that was three years ago. But um, so that's only four days ago. So good job here. This is actually a get for businesses, uh, businesses of any size, uh, right? You've you've seen on other um, videos that that uh, I've, I've recorded where. Uh, G2 uh, as well for some SaaS companies. Um, It's a really great opportunity to show customers that you are listening proactively by responding to your your reviews there. Here, um, Google is the place for a smaller business, right? And and that's, Google is essentially your homepage. I have seen other people say this. I'm stealing the quote from somebody smarter than me. Uh, But Google is your homepage. It's not your your website. This is the place I'm going to find you first. Uh, So this is a very strong impression from a customer experience perspective hey this business listens to its customers great um so with that uh this this looks um pretty much in order um you know you're on different places like TripAdvisor, uh facebook you got five star rings all over the place grow pub uh, so you could tell <clears throat> all, all menus as well so they've done a good job of getting themselves out into the marketplace, not just on their website, not just their Google My Business, but also other places where people might be looking for their stuff, right? Which in this case is pie or pie recipes. They know some of their content, which can be used elsewhere, like all menus, pie recipes, right? So let's go to their website Um, and very simple menu. This pops up pretty quickly. Subscribe to the best newsletter ever. So clearly one of their calls to action is to get you to subscribe to the newsletter. I might have this not fire right off the bat um it it may be a delayed kind of um where you fire it 
uh, if they've been on the website for like 20 seconds, it was slightly jarring when I kind of got on and then almost immediately it was just like, bam, you should subscribe. Um, it also does not have the form. I have to scroll down to get to the form. So I wonder if this, this is too big. This could be shrunk a little bit. Get me to the form without scrolling, ideally. Um, I do appreciate the fact, and this is on brand for their newsletter, by the way. Um, you get an email a week. Hi, that's me. I really love this. It doesn't make me want to puke. <laughs> so um, again, they have a tone that they take, uh, and you can kind of see this in some of the messaging, and uh, they stick to it. So who knew I cared this much about a pie shop? Um, so I, I do appreciate that. I wonder if this could be slimmed down just so that way I don't have to scroll to get to the call to action uh, on mobile. That could be a little bit of a, of a, of a challenge as well. Um, but uh, all in all, you know that, that's pretty good. We'll ignore that for now. Um, cozy space, tasty pies. Should there be a comma there? Cozy space, tasty pies. Um, I, I don't know. Um, to me, it, it to me, I read that and it feels like it, it it misses some punctuation. But is that a big deal? No. Um, this is the big deal. You want pie, so hi. There's there's pie right in front of you, right? Uh, the, the the menu, short, sweet, to the point. What's their blog? If you're interested, pie crust classes. And then if you want to shop, honestly, it's so short. I wouldn't even do this mega menu. I would just do instead of shop, just put sweet pies, savory pies, merchandise, blog, pie crust classes. Maybe not even that order. Um, you know what's what's most important? Might be sweet pies, savory pies, uh, classes. I would just call it crust class or, 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 or something to that effect. Um, and then merchandise blog, right? I would probably put the blog at the end because it's the least. You know this this is just a buy our stuff kind of website, right? Direct response. You want them just to come in and buy. Um, so uh, this drop down menu, I think is unnecessary in terms of the navigation. Uh, you could make that a little bit simpler. These icons as well. I understand what this one is for, for searching this, uh, looking at the bottom left of my screen says login. Uh, that that's kind of standard. This on the other hand is looks like it's for a shopping cart. I cannot tell that is a shopping cart. Uh, to me, it kind of, I'm not hundred percent sure what that is. I, you know, maybe a handbag knowing what, what the link goes to. But that's not necessarily clear. I might change that icon uh, slightly. But um, again, um, uh, these are these are minor quibbles here. So you want to see the menu? You know that that's what you're most interested in, right? Here's upcoming. I do kind of like this this square. You're you're keeping this consistent with the with the squares. You've got a little bit of overlay. This is good. Um, and for a smirch, I believe these are the owners um, as well. I have not met them personally, um, but take and bakes. So. You know, I'm based on how the menu is set up. I don't know if I would have merchandise here um, because I mean, you have pre order, you have see the menu. Um, I guess it does, now I think about it, it does match because you have merchandise right there in the shop menu, but I would again cha maybe change that. And then I would change the order here on the homepage um, in terms of importance, right? So um, sweet pies, savory pies, maybe you highlight both of those next to each other instead of see menu. Um, up to you could 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 take a step out of the process necessarily to get from homepage to buy a pie, um, and then merchandise maybe goes a little bit lower because uh, because uh, maybe the crust classes need to be higher. Um, <clears throat> maybe you know if Grubhub's a huge a huge play, then maybe that needs to pull higher. Maybe not. Um, it, it could be okay. The about us makes sense here on the homepage this low right because it's not doesn't need to be front and center. These are the owners by the way, and uh, but you need to. Uh, have that, of course, um, because it is, uh, it's good to have that content in general. Um, it also helps build and it's very on brand for them uh, to be able to kind of talk about themselves. That newsletter was talking about from me, hi, you know, something to something to that effect. Uh, that was a terrible impression, by the way. So sorry. <laughs> but, uh, and then Pi News. So this is, this is overall pretty good. All right. A lot of quick links. How to store and freeze your pie, save your pie instructions. I might take a few of these out. Um, honestly, you have a global footer. I might put terms of service, privacy policy, um, even refund policy. I would put policies maybe down here in the global footer and and, and, and make these quick links a little bit um, less to, to find what I might be looking for. Um, instructions as well, if that's a really good piece of content, maybe you could have that um, somewhere on the homepage. Uh, maybe not, you know, maybe you replace the blog link with maybe two pieces of content uh, because blog in general is just, it's a blog, right? Everybody has a blog link. But if you had a link directly to maybe your one or two best pieces of content here, hey, 
Savory pie instructions could be interesting. Again, there, there's some play with the space, um, but uh, just just a few thoughts there. So let's let's go see the menu. And here you go. Right here, here uh, is is the menu. You can add them to cart. It's for full pies, uh, and this so it starts you off with the sweet pies. Um, I do wish there was there were jump links here. So if I don't want a sweet pie, if I'm looking for a savory pie, um, it, you know. Obviously, this this to me probably takes me. Is it a standalone page or is it a jump link? Let's find out. It pairs well with um, savory pies. Okay, so these are standalone pages. Not sure that's necessary because this is not a ton of content. I think this could be one page for the menu um, and with jump links where it uh, has the pound sign and then you know sa savory dash pies and then if you click that link, it just takes you zoop right to that portion of the page. As long as you have navigation on the right hand side uh, that says top where I can jump to the top, um, then it, it's perfectly fine. I don't think you necessarily need um, to have three separate pages for this. It, it could be one page um, entirely. I'm curious what the what the merchandise um, is. It kind of similar. Um, you have more. Yeah, th these three pages could be one page. Um, very 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 simply, and I think. Uh, because they're thin pages, there's not a lot of content on them from a, from an SEO perspective, which for PyBar may or may not matter. I don't have access to their data. Uh, but for other businesses out there, right, if you have pages like this that, that don't have a ton on them, they're not going to do that much for you. It actually makes more sense to combine where where possible and make it a, a, a page that has more depth to it. A, a good a, a, So that way Google sees the page and goes, relevant, helpful instead of thin content, not a lot here. Um, so sure, the page exists, but is it really helpful or relevant on its own, all right? Take your take your pieces of content and, and combine them where possible, but again, in a way that is user-friendly. So the user-friendly way would be one page for everything, but jump links that can go to each section. So then I don't need to jump to different pages to find the stuff. It's all right there in front of me, and I can jump around, cue the song. Um, but uh, so that that's just my thought um, for for that pie crust classes center of the headline I guess um, because this is this is centered. Um, this is text. Um, I'd love to see a video maybe here uh, video content. What's a crust class like? Can you give me highlights from a previous class? Can you give me video testimonials from previous uh, a, a, attendees? There, there's. Um, I suspect there's something here that could uh, that could help with that. I realize, you know, and this is kind of hidden, right? Register for for the it here. It looks like that's two separate links. Not a big deal. Teachable. Um, so um, I, I I do think this could maybe be slightly stronger in terms of call to action. If I click this, what 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 happens? It goes to Teachable. Um, now that that's a pretty good page. Um, that might be a little long, but. Um, now here's testimonials, right? Okay, those should be on the other page uh, because you haven't convinced me to click on it, and that and and the the link I need to click to get here is kind of hidden as a text link. It should be a big bold link or even a big image that says "click here to sign up," um, and then and then uh, because this is a, a this is solid, um, and there you go. So uh, and see, there's video. So this the teachable page is strong. The page on the website promoting the Teachable page, not as strong. Uh, so I think that gets tightened up a little bit. I think it's more convincing to get people to click onto this page, which does a pretty good sales job. So in short, you know, there, there's some feedback on the website, again, unsolicited, and now you want Pi. And if you're in the Woodstock or Kennesaw or Roswell, Alpharetta, Marietta areas uh, around Atlanta, northeast side of Atlanta, Georgia, for those who don't know, um, now you should stop by and, and get some Pi. And obviously I've left them a five-star review. Now, the last thing I want to highlight is, and, and you're going to pop into my inbox here, so hi, it's Gmail, their newsletter. Um, and this, I love their newsletter. I actually do read it consistently. Um, and, and like I said previously, I have posted on LinkedIn uh, about how much just this is a good newsletter. All right, number one, it's consistent. They have the header. They were using that earlier. So it's consistent um, with, with everything. Um, I still think there should be a comma, but at least I will say, they're consistent, right? They're, they're you know, cozy place, space, tasty pies. Maybe they need to italicize that on the website, but again, very minor quibble, and that may just be me being a marketer and, and seeing the world slightly differently. But did you, you know, you've probably already started reading. Um, very first person-ish, right? Cody and I value communication. I think being able to 
And I love the fact that it's just storytelling. You know, we talk, marketers talk all the time about the power of a good narrative. Just scan through this. Lately, we've just, we, we have been a house divided on what is probably an issue to BOGO or not to BOGO. <laughs> You're right. Um, they do a good job, job crafting the narrative here. Uh, certain grocery stores have bogos each week if you're a normal sheep like Cody. So I love the fact that they're, that they're you know, kind of, she's kind of leaning into it and, and playing favorites. You follow what the man Big Grocery tells you to do and literally buy one, get one. Uh, if you're outside the box, you don't allow some corporation from Florida, no less, to tell you what to do. You just buy one at half the price. I like the I like using BO here. That, that, um, and she does, uh, Lauren does do a good job of, of consistently with snarky comments. I feel like we'd get along very well. Um, also, side note, yeah, if it's buy one, get one, then just look at the tag. It should say price markdown at register, so you can just buy one. Just, just sorry. Um, gonna, gonna, gonna have to side with her on this one. Um, but you know, it makes you want to read. Um, and, and it's short, sweet, to the point, and it's not selling you at all. Right? I love this. It's just adding a little smile to your day. I was smiling while talking about it. Um, she does reply as well. I, I have actually replied before um, to see where you stand. Your call to action is just have a conversation. They're building relationships with their customers is what this is doing. And, the, and it's, you know, if you put them to the test, they do reply. That just strengthens customer retention, customer loyalty. If I want pie, I have built a relationship with them and I'd much rather get a pie from Pi Bar than from somewhere else because I feel like I have more of a relationship with them. This is a great small business marketing tactic uh, at where it's outside the box. They're just being themselves and having fun. They're selling pie for crying out loud, right? They get it and this newsletter helps facilitate customer loyalty and customer retention, which I think a lot of companies struggle with. Small business, enterprise, SaaS, doesn't matter your industry, a lot of people do a poor job building relationships with their customers because you treat us like transactions. But this kind of a newsletter doesn't do that. And it's just a small example of, of what I think is, is pretty good marketing. So there you go. All in all, uh, you know, hopefully you learned a few uh, thoughts from a small business perspective or maybe got a, a takeaway from the newsletter for your marketing. And of course, if you're in the area, I left them a five-star review three years ago. So I obviously do recommend going to Pi Bar. Not affiliated with them in any way whatsoever, but I like empty calories that taste delicious. So uh, if you found this entertaining, I hope you'll check out some of the other videos on this channel. RuleYourCompetition.com if you want to get insights like this and, and even more in-depth um, for, uh, you know, any paid engagement that, uh, that we do with rule marketing group is certainly more in depth. We, you know, we won't publish it to the public as well. So check it out, ruleyourcompetition.com. I'm Caleb Rule. I'm active on LinkedIn. Would love to hear your questions or a, a company that you'd like me to, to kind of do some of this unsolicited customer feedback for. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.